mentioned was the importance of praying for, for two things when we find ourselves in this place of worry, in this place of anxiety, for praying for God to change our circumstances, but also praying for God to change our hearts. Why are both of those so vital for us to be willing to pray both? I believe prayer is really about two things. I believe God invites us to pray for this, and it, this may come out weird to some people's ears, to partner with God in what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean that we are God and we exercise our faith in some name it, claim it sort of way. What I mean is God has chosen to work in such a way, he says, pray and I will hear you. Yeah. Sometimes he waits, it seems, until we pray to do something. Jesus even told us to pray like that. He says, go ahead and tell everything to God that you need because your Father in heaven already knows what you need. Right. But he tells us to do it. And so God has, for whatever reason, chosen to work like that. And so he wants us to, in a sense, partner with him in what he's doing in the world. The other side of that is prayer is not about changing God. Prayer is about changing us. Yeah. It's about us putting our heart bare before God and us being able to see what's really in there and acknowledge what's in there before God right. and to watch God transform it over the years. I mean, think about it. When you began praying for the very first time, you may have had some sort of trepidation about praying out loud. I don't sound, sound good. I keep repeating titles for God more than anything else. I say the word like every three words. I say the word just every five words. And we grow in our prayer over the years. We look back and think, oh man, look how where God's brought me that came through practice. Yeah. Now I would say do the same thing with the content of your prayers. Yeah. Where you started was very childlike in a good way mm -hmm. and sometimes childish in a negative way. Right. Selfish and all kinds of things. But you look to where you pray years later and God has transformed that. I don't think just because of all the external factors. I think because you prayed to God mm -hmm. and he changed you. Yeah. And so I think prayer as an act, God mm -hmm. is transforming. But I think we need to ask God um, to change the situation because he tells us to. Right. But to change us right. because ultimately, as all, has already been mentioned, a big part of the suffering God allows us to go through, including anxiety, is often for our development mm -hmm. as children of God, disciplined for good works, but also to develop character that we're going to see mm -hmm. um, bear some weight in eternity. Mm -hmm.